that worked. Good morning. Um, I think this is day 10 for me. Uh, I slept pretty much through the night. I bought a sleeping bag liner when I was in town. Kept me a very toasty warm. I might need like a warmer top for the Smokies, but I have two more towns where I can grab that in. So today should be a rel relatively easy day, even though it's 13 miles. There's like one big up, the rest of it's pretty smooth sailing. So I think we're gonna figure out what time we get there and then decide from there. I'm a little bit worried because I got some concerning texts from my friend about my dog. So I I don't know what's going to happen with that. So that stresses me out going into today, but I can't really do anything about it. And I don't think she's awake yet. So I hope she figured it out and I'll get back to you. Okay, look, it says more difficult. Yep. Today's climb kind of looks like this. It's not too bad. This is where I wanted to go last night. I don't think I would have made it. It's really cool looking backwards and seeing all the mountain ranges and being like, I did that. I'm proud of myself. I think it's about a half mile to the top. And then I think it's all downhill with a tiny little bit up. But we'll see. Today is not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday, ooh, yesterday was like was like this climbing. Today is like this climbing, which is a lot better. Okay, so the top kind of looks like the boys are having lunch. Say less. Wave. Uh, holy crap. Are you videoing? No. Pretty much been ahead of the guys, but flip flopping with them all day. Ran into a guy named Ian. Talked to him a little bit. That helps me get down the mountain. Um, there's 0.5 into the shelter, and then I think we'll recess, reassess what we're gonna do if we're gonna go farther or stay at the shelter for the day or for the night. I think it's only 1:30 or two, so we'll see. And there's cheese block taking the bite break. <laughs> I've been climbing over a lot of logs today. The guys kept making comments about how they needed to dry out their shoes because they were wet and I was so confused and then I realized I've got waterproof boots on and they have been amazing so while the boys are like trying to avoid the streams I'm just pounding through them. It's been kind of nice. <laughs> Okay, I made it, but I'm a little bit confused. Ah, there we go. It's called <laughs> being British. I didn't want that. Wow, I did not expect that to be so far. I've been taking other people's water. <laughs> so, like, I mean, I'm going to go and get water, but I'm just like messed up. All right, looks like Rocky is going to be pushing on with Nichols and another guy named John. Um, they're going to make it to the next gap for camping. It's like another five miles, and then they're going to watch uh, the sunrise from the fire tower, which is the 100-mile marker. But me, Cheese Block, and the Nutter Butter and Soap are staying at this campsite. Uh, I think it's Carter Gap Shelter. Uh, we've decided we're exhausted. Just going to call it a day chill around here it got up to about 75 degrees today which was amazing I loved that um hopefully it doesn't get too cold I have my jacket on because of the shade and as you guys know I'm a wimp so but I am walking down to get some water I've got this this water bottle I'm gonna fill up and this one that's hiding I'm gonna fill this one up as well I 
I am starting to get a little freaked out. Um, we've been seeing bear signs. And as I'm walking down here by myself, I'm like freaking out a little bit. I probably should have waited for either soap or cheese block to come with me. Um, but I don't know, maybe I can, I can fight a bear by myself, it's possible. I do know that I hate how far these water sources are. Um, this one's like all downhill, so I will definitely be hiking back up very slowly. At least I don't have my 40 pound bag with me. It's pretty far down, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be coming down here. Oh, no. It's like falling. I know. Uh. Soap fixed the tiny stream. This is so ridiculously stupid. <laughs> I have to say. had a hard time figuring out where we were gonna hang our bear bag um <clears throat> we decided like right next to the shelter which might not be a good idea but there's not very many trees in the area to do it on so hopefully we have food in the morning heading over to the privy to change for the night and then probably i'll get in my sleeping bag early so pretty absolutely